All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, Iron Man here. I haven't made a video in literally months, but I wanted to go ahead and get this over with because I still am getting questions about this in my inbox. Haven't been on in a while. But anyway, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to utilize the capabilities of Frostbite. And if you do not know what Frostbite is, it is taking the battery theme look and expanding it to a lot of options. We're going to go ahead and show you what that looks like on my phone. So right here to the right, you can take a look at my phone. And here we go. What Frostbite does is allow you to have a lot of options when uh, having the themed battery. You can set a wallpaper, you can reflect the battery, you can totally get rid of the battery, and a few other little options. So this is what it is. I, uh, I've had a lot of questions in the past on how to set this up. It is recommended that you are an advanced user, but with this video, anybody should be able to do it. Um, down below this video, there's going to be a description box. If you expand it, there's going to be a download. And this download is going to be a file that I have personally created. It's going to be the Frostbite download, and in this is going to be a text file. This text file is going to help you on uh, where to place these files, and you're also going to get some other little goodies, which I'll get later on in the video. So right here, we are SSH to my phone. You're going to want to go ahead and do this. And uh, what we're going to do is you're going to open up the file. And if you want, you can either watch this video or you can download the file right now and you can go along with me. Whichever you prefer, um, either way you're going to get good information. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a file called Frostbite uh, dot, uh, dyna Dynamic Library, excuse me. And we're going to SSH into the root of your phone or, and or your iPod Touch. This works on all generations, any device. So we're going to go into Library and down here you're going to see a file called Mobile Substrate. You're going to double click and go into this. And at the very top, uh, for at least 90% of you users, you're going to see a folder called Dynamic Libraries. SSH into this, and this is where all your, uh, you know, dynamic libraries are for uh, a lot of applications that you know require certain things. And you're going to go ahead and drop the Frostbite Dynamic Library, and here it is, just so you know what you, what you're looking for. Um, you have the same exact file. I'm just going to drop it in here, and you're good. You don't need to refresh. You don't need to respring. Um, just go back to your root. And also, you're going to have this file that um, is called, you know, Frostbite. Uh, just, I mean, that's it. You're going to go into Library. You're going to scroll down. Um, for, for some of you, you may not need to scroll down, but you're going to go into a folder called Themes. Double-click into this, and you're going to be in your Themes folder. Now, you're going to drop the Frostbite in there. Here's what it is. Um, you drop it in your Themes folder, just raw. And um, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to get into this. And uh, it's already going to be set up for you. You don't need to set up anything because I'm already going to set it up for you. But there is something that you're going to need to edit, and that is the Frostbite plist. Now, this plist file gives the commands on what it is that you want done. And we're going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. We're going to go ahead and edit. And here we are. So we have the simple uh, commands on what you can do. You can have a see-through battery. You can have the reflection. You can have the battery enabled, and you can change the background color if you so not to choose, you know, a random wallpaper. That's totally up to the user and how you want to do this. Now, the P list that he gives you on his website, which I'm not going to give you a link to, it's kind of complicated. Like I said, it's for advanced users, you're not going to understand it. Um, unless you're advanced, you know, you can hit me up on Twitter, I'll give you his website. Now, um, I'm going to have it the basic settings as you can see here and in this plist when I give it to you, you there's no need to edit if um, if you don't want to edit you don't know how you don't want to get into this don't worry about it it's pretty much set up to a way that it's going to look good um, I mean you saw mine and um, if you want to go ahead and edit these are perfect things you can just go into true and you can go ahead and type in false it's true and false that's all it is and of course the string colors depending on the hex um, we don't want to save this though and that's the P list. Now, as you can see here, this is the uh, battery theme, and battery background is what you're going to name your wallpaper. It has to be capitalized battery background.png. And I need to stress this to all of the users out there it must be a PNG. Now, the thumbs, you don't need to worry about, but it's going to be there because this is a custom edited P list file that I've uh, made for the user, so you don't have to really edit anything at all. So, we're going to go ahead and go back. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Once this is in your themes folder, you're going to need to activate this via Winterboard. 
Um, so you, you must have Winterboard. Most of the users are going to have it regardless. But if you don't, go ahead and download it in Cydia. This is going to be a theme. So you're not going to put, I'm, I'm going to stress this because this is something that a lot of users will end up doing. Do not put Frostbite into a theme. Leave it as its own theme and activate it via Winterboard. You can use this with anything. Now, what I'm going to also have in the folder, and which you're going to notice when you download, is um, some custom batteries. You're going to get the one I am currently using, which is you can look right here to the right, which is this battery. And if you're wondering why the, the these uh, numbers are different, it's because this is going by the phone, and 73% is going by Springboard settings, and this is the raw. Uh, battery. Apple kind of, you know, messed that up a little bit. But anyway, you're going to get this battery and you're going to get uh, a little custom battery that I have sitting on my desktop that's not even in Cydia. So you're going to get that little goodies and you're going to get a few of my custom wallpapers that I'm going to throw in there so you guys can mess around with that. They're all, they're all going to be named correctly and they're all going to be themed correctly. So there's no changing anything. All you have to do is watch this video, place it in the right spot, and once you've put everything in, um, as far as putting the folders in the right position that you just saw, you're going to go ahead and respring and or reboot depending up to you. You don't need a reboot, but if you want to go ahead and do it, that's fine. A quick respring is all you need, and you're pretty much golden. So that, that's all there is to it, guys, um, how to theme your battery to the extreme. If you have any questions at all, I do not answer my PMs. It's just getting crazy now. Um, I literally answer any at reply thrown to me on Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash do it up, yo, just how it sounds. And I'll have a link in the description if you have any questions. Please don't hesitate to ask. Everything you need will be in the text file and in the download below. So don't forget to do that. If you like this video, you enjoyed it, it helped you, don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video. Maybe if you want a favorite, you can come back to it. And uh, I will catch you guys in my next one. Have a good one.